up scorpio and thank you guys so much for tuning in so guys i do apologize on the delay of me getting this out but even if it's like a day before the month ends i'm always gonna get everything out i don't like skipping signs for any reason but i was delayed guys because i did go on a vacation i wanted to celebrate hitting 100k so i'm just really excited about that guys so just thank you for all your support all the likes all the subscriptions you guys telling your friends and family about it i appreciate you all right so all right scorpio we're gonna backtrack just a little bit so this reading covers april 15th to about uh may 15th so do keep that in mind and let's see what's going on um also guys if you are on instagram you can follow me there high vibrations 44 i do post daily energies with the cards so you know exactly what to expect in your day and then you can be nosy on my personal life too so let's see what's going on with y'all and what we can expect what is going on for the sign of Scorpio? April mid month. The Queen of Wands in the reverse popped out, which is someone who's kind of in like a diva sort of energy. Um, someone who could be really pissed off about something and just be over the top and just very dramatic with it. King of Pentacles in the reverse here. So when someone's not genuinely invested in something, okay? Either that or it's something that's causing a person to lose money. All right, so we have your past. Present. What are y'all going through? Future. All right, so let's talk about the Scorpio. So the energy that you guys have is a hanged man. So I like this energy a lot because you're in a place that you're just not going to overexert yourself. Anything where you feel like you have to jump through hoops or you have to just go above and beyond, you're not going to be interested in it. You're really just going with the flow of what your life is. And there could be some sort of new beginning that you see as bad judgment. Okay, so let's see what this is about because I do see you guys removing yourselves from something. Now, going into your past, the first card that you guys have is the King of Cups in the reverse. So this is a player card. This is a card about promiscuity. So if it's not you guys that we're seeing, you know, more than one person at the same time, then it could be something that just threw you off emotionally. Somebody just acting in a lower vibrational sort of way. Okay, where you just don't feel like yourself. Why is this King of Cups in the reverse here? We have the Six of Swords in the reverse. And we have the three of wands. So you guys had a hard time moving away from something for love reasons. It could have, or if this is relating to love, it could have been because somebody was just juggling lovers. Um, but whatever this was, it threw you guys off and you have to turn your back on it in order to expand, in order to keep moving forward in a healthy way. So a lot of you just had to become single or self-sufficient from something. All right. We have the queen of pentacles in the reverse. So in my opinion, this is the hardest queen to get to the reversal because it's the queen that's the most patient and can put up with the most. So whether it was you or someone that you were dealing with, someone just got very fed up and someone felt like they put a lot of time and investment into something, but they didn't get what they should have gotten out of the situation. Okay. And if it's not that, it could be some financial struggle, whether you're overspending or you're just not in a stable place. We have the Seven of Cups. And we have the Knight of Swords. All right, so having to cut out a situation where there's just too much illusion, guys. For some of you, maybe you're dealing with the Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, but there is a sense of having to make a logical decision, not so much with the heart, but with the mind. All right, now we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse, so something from the past coming back in, whether it's a past lover, a past job, a past boss, uh, maybe a friend that you fell out with. Why is this here? King of Wands in the reverse. If it was a lover, then somebody, at least you or them was seeing somebody else. And we have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. So something from the past tried coming back in, but because of someone's interest in someone else or just focusing on another part of their life, it just wasn't something that was going to work out. So again, having to be single or just self-sufficient in a situation. Okay. Now, in your present moment, guys, the first card that you have is the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So if this isn't just talking about... You know, a fallout within itself or you choosing not to move forward with something. It's when two people are kind of like in a, in a rough place. And it doesn't have to be between two people. It could be more than that. But being in a place where it's like you're kind of like yelling over each other. You're not really listening to understand. Um, you're, you're waiting for a person to finish so that you can just have your reply, you know, come out. So 
definitely miscommunication if there's any communication at all or things being said in a very harmful or distasteful way you have the tower card in the reverse which is dodging a bullet okay something that could have been catastrophic that you are able to you know sidestep and you have the page of cups so maybe there was some sort of offer that sounded good that sounded sweet where somebody knew how to make it sound good but there would have been too much injustice here somebody was playing too many games whether it was you or another person that you're dealing with so yeah you dodged arguing and stuff like that because someone just wasn't going to be genuine okay now the center of this reading well everything ties into and the next card for your present moment is the moon card so with the moon card this is clarity. This is awakening. This is you seeing something for what it is. This is secrets coming out. Things just being revealed. The high priestess. And it's what you may have suspected all along. Now, what I love about this card, guys, is you really have to listen to your intuition right now. Um, no matter what a person is telling you, no matter what you know a person is trying to prove, anything like that, what's going to be the truth is what you feel in your gut, not necessarily what you're seeing or what you're hearing. Okay? So trust yourself above all, okay? You can listen to what other people say, but you need to make the ultimate decision. What do you truly feel in your heart and in your soul? Because that's what it is. And we have the star card here. So this could be in regards to something that you're truly desiring, all right? But the truth of the situation is that there well, one of two things. There could be something that you really want and desiring where you're going to have to spend a lot of money, make some sort of investment, uh, and even if it puts you in a place where you're not as strong financially as you'd like to be, okay? But if it's not that, then there's something that can make you happy and feel very balanced, but there's someone who doesn't have genuine interest in it. There's someone who's not 100% um, involved in all this. So I just want to make sure that you guys aren't accepting a new start that could be very detrimental for you, that could be very toxic for you. Let me pull one more card here. We have the page of pentacles so you guys are just taking a very slow approach with this which i like so you, it's not something that you're going to dive in head first this is something where you're really going to test the waters before moving forward and ultimately you realize something's just not a good idea with the full card in the verse and so you're telling yourself if i continue down this path then you know there's going to be something that's fucked up for me in the end we have the nine of cups in the verse unhappiness dissatisfaction with whatever this is Okay, and then you have the Knight of Cups in the reverse, guys. So, again, if this is within love, it's it's strictly because somebody just, you know, they, they can't keep shit to themselves. They want to be with more than one person. Um, or it could be something, again, that just throws you off. So, there's something that you guys have to let go of. And it could be something that you were strongly desiring. But, again, just really listen to your intuition here. Moving forward into the future, the first card that you guys have is the Two of Cups. So this is talking about someone that you feel very closely tied to, okay? This could be a soulmate connection. This could be, um, you know, with a friend. We have the Five of Swords. And we have the Page of Swords in the reverse. All right, so again, there might be someone that you feel very close to, but it's like there's a fallout. There's something that just doesn't work out here because of the conflict, because of people not speaking to each other in a mindful way. You know, there's there's just a lot of angry talk here. Um, I just feel like someone's being extremely insensitive, okay? And you know that you guys don't take that shit well. So someone's definitely being extremely insensitive, whether it's someone else that you guys are dealing with or they push you to the point where now you're in bitch mode because we know how Scorpios can get when they're very scorned. So, yeah, someone's just really pissed off and just not trying to deal with the shit, all right? We have the King of Swords in the verse, so this could be someone who's abusive mentally, physically, emotionally, verbally, and if it's not someone who's very distasteful in that way, then it's someone who feels that they really need to protect themselves at an extreme. We have the Eight of Swords in the reverse, and we have the six of wands in the verse so guys this is super clear you're moving past something where it just wasn't going to work out whether someone's just being an asshole or you just have to protect yourself in the way an asshole does because you were pushed to that extreme um it is what it is so you do move past this again guys right now this is going to be a time where you're a lot of the power in your life comes directly from you. You don't need anything else. So even for those who aren't having relationship problems or anything like that, there's something that needs to be done and that you're capable of doing on your own and that you don't need any outside sources to do it. So just keep that in mind, okay? That's going to be the easiest way to get from point A to point B, all right? Ten of swords in the reverse. The worst that could have happened has happened. 
All right. So if there's any betrayals, if there is any sort of heavy emotions that you were dealing with, you know, it's 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 subsiding. We have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So someone's pissed off about this, but you're moving past it. Seven of Swords. So there's just secrets here, guys. And it really pissed someone off, whether it was you, whether it's another person, whether both of you are collectively pissed off. So the biggest thing is don't overdo it. Don't jump through hoops for someone that wouldn't jump through hoops for you. Okay? And just make sure that you are addressing things in the way that they deserve to be addressed okay if someone's being nice to you and you just don't fuck with them don't necessarily tell them you know that they're the worst person on earth you know make sure that your reaction is matching what's going on with you and if someone has a very low energy then in that case you're not going to want to match that reaction in that case you're going to want to acknowledge it and walk away from anything that can cause you to be in a lower a lower vibrational state I'm sorry that I'm so stuffy, guys. I was like, <laughs> I felt like I had to sneeze right before doing this reading, and it didn't come out, and here I am with the sniffles after being good all day. For those of you who have been with me for a while, you know I used to have the worst allergy problem, so thank God that I got rid of that, and <laughs> it's so funny because my allergies and my stuffiness, because I was stuffy like every day, like without fail. Um, so, um, when I had left my ex, I'm like, maybe I was allergic to that person because like shortly after they left, like my breathing abilities came back. But then I realized that, um, one of my friends at the same time had just bought me a Himalayan lamp, uh, lamp and it was a huge one. So I had one upstairs, I had one downstairs in my house and reading up on it. If you have allergies, you can actually keep them around your house and it naturally just purifies the air. So I really feel like that's what it was. So if anyone is suffering from that, Himalayan lamps, you know, I, I'm so for it. Okay. You guys had a few cards pop up. So let's see what's going on. For a lot of you, you definitely could be dealing with a, uh, not a Taurus, I'm sorry, with a Libra Aquarius or Gemini. Okay. That is your energy here. But a lot of you are just going to have to cut out a situation uh, that could have made you depressed. That could have been a third party that is making you move away from people or things that just don't put you in a good place. So, honestly, I see you guys having a very d direct conversation, possibly about secrets um, that are coming to light or, or things that you're questioning, but having to be really real with somebody, okay, and trying to stand your ground as much as you can, but it's like someone's putting effort into something that they're just going to be too depleted if they keep on with this. So something on your path is not right. All right, so something wants to deplete you, and it's something that I feel you guys are putting effort into. And if it's not you putting effort, then maybe someone's putting effort into you. Um, but yeah, ultimately, with this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, someone's just going to get to the point where they're like, look, I've, I've done enough. I, I can't do anymore. So someone's going to feel tired because of that. All right, so you guys have to realize what that is. All right, guys, so the deck I just used was the Wild Unknown. Okay, Tarot. And now I'm using Earth Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer. Alright, so let's see what's going on. Let's pull you guys an Oracle card. Alright, so what advice does the sign of Scorpio need? Alright, let's talk about it. Eli, I know you hear me talking, baby. So I know I'm not crazy because mommy tells you not to talk to me when I'm working, right? So there's no reason for you to be calling my name. I'll get to you in a second, baby. Alright, thank you. I love you so much, baby. Alright, so here's the card that you guys have. I'm sorry. I, I tell him time and time again and he'll be quiet the whole time. But when I'm working, that's when he wants to ask questions. And he should have been in bed 30 minutes ago. So let me not let my blood boil. Hmm. Mommy do these. All right, guys. So rain, purification. This is going to be one of those times where I sound like a crazy person and I say that I am so happy for the pain that you can be going through. And why do I say that? I say that because sometimes that's the only way to wake up, the, you know, to wake us the fuck up. That's, that's what it comes down to. Um, with Scorpios, yes, you guys can be very vengeful and very vindictive when it comes to someone truly fucking you over. But the truth about a Scorpio is that you guys love so deeply. So that's why you get so scorned. It's like, look, I just gave you the whole ocean. I gave you everything in regards to emotions and you want to play me? So that's why you guys take shit so hard because when you love, you love love. All right. So whether this was a lover, whether this was just the investment that you had in a job, it's like you feel like the rain is pouring on you. OK, but what comes after the rain? 
You have rainbows, you have, you know, just this beautiful atmosphere. But you have to go through that purging process. You have to go through that purification process. So there's something here that you guys have to just let go. And you have to really just pour it out and pour it out until you really realize it, okay? Um, and guys, make sure that you're not putting yourself in unnecessary sort of situations where you keep going through the same lessons over and over again. I don't want you guys to be susceptible to that and I don't want you to allow that type of shit in your life because the truth is if you keep dating shitty people or if you keep um, you know, working for the shittiest people ever, there, there's some sort of common denominator that you're not letting go of. There's something that's linking you to every single experience. So what is that? Okay, um, Is there a certain type of person that you're attracted to? And even though you know, life has shown you time and time and time again that that's not the, the type, you know, that's not the best type of person for you. You still keep going for it. You know, are you not being honest about your your true desires in life? Are you doing what mommy and daddy told you to do? Are you doing what society told you to do? Are you living your truth? Okay. Until you guys do something different with the same lessons that you've been learning, you're going to keep getting the same shit. All right. And Scorpio's about, you know, a year or a few months ago. We were just going through just this heavy error with you guys where I just feel like there was just something that you had to release. And for the most part, you guys have been really getting through that in a powerful way. But now the universe, what it's doing is it's coming back and it's testing you. Have you learned your lesson properly? Are you going to handle the situation the same way you handle the last situations? Because that's where it's going to fuck you up. That's why shit isn't working in the way that you may want it to. You have the same situations. You have the same scenarios. You have the same type of vibes. And you're dealing with it in the same way, expecting some sort of different result. And that's that's insanity, guys. It's not going to happen that way. So let it rain, let it pour, but then you got to get that shit out of your system. You got to approach things differently. And you have to realize that right now you guys are going through some sort of purge or change in your life where you're going to have a much clearer mind. You're going to be more focused, but you really need to heal from whatever it is. Or you need to, again, have a different approach than you've had in the past. So what do you guys need to do to get into the right mindset? Okay, heal from everything that you're dealing with now. Handle everything you got going on now. Let yourself be aware of what got you to the certain place that you're at. And if there's good things that have gotten you there, good. How do you get more good things? If there's shitty things that have gotten you to your position, great. But how do you avoid that shitty thing in the future? All right, you guys are smart. And, you know, you guys are so emotionally tapped into this world that you know when something's not right, guys. So listen to that. If there's, you know, something tugging within you, like, damn, something's off, something's off, take that as enough evidence, all right? There's people, and, you know, I've seen Scorpios do this, guys, where you'll feel that something is off, but you want to dig in and you want to dive, and it's like the white girl in the movie that's like, oh, there's noises outside. Like, let me go check that shit out by myself at 2 o'clock in the morning, even though I'm in the middle of the woods. Nothing against my white people. I love y'all. just have to use a funny example here. But... That, that's pretty much what it is right now. So you guys really have to look at this um, in an honest way, okay? Just make sure that you're not putting yourself in a situation that makes no sense, okay? So Scorpio, I don't know where I was going to go with that. I had something I want to say, but I don't want to just keep running around in circles. But yeah, guys, there's really something here that really needs to be cleared out. Um, and there has to be something that you guys learn from all of this, okay? So just know you're very, very tapped in. That's what I was talking about, that you guys are just so tapped in. If something feels off, Scorpio, know that you have the gift to see it, all right? And that right there, this is what I was going to say, that when you feel something is off, guys, that's proof enough. Don't go looking for more. If you hear sh gunshots down the hall, trust that it's gunshots down the hall and run out the opposite way, all right? You don't want to go towards where the problem is um, unless it's just facing it, fixing it, and walking past it. But in this case, yeah, you don't want to stand in front of a murderer and then be upset in the afterlife that they murdered you. You you knew that they had a gun. You knew that they were willing to pull the trigger. Okay? So that's what this is, guys. All right? I love you guys so much. Like I said, guys, my uh, Instagram, High Vibrations 44 if you want to check on what's going on in your daily energies just want to stalk my life a little bit go for it and then other than that guys if you need a personal reading or a quick question answered then you can go to my website highvibrationswithliz.com again everything's in the description below so you can check it out it's all there take care scorpio i love you guys stay strong and play it smart